So I know there's been a lot of hype about the Apple Vision Pro, but for $3,500, is it really worth the money? So I've been actually had a lot of experience with the Meta Quest 3. So I wanted to show you a couple of things that the Meta Quest 3 can do for $500 to see if y'all really want to spend that $3,500 for the Apple Vision Pro. So let's go ahead and jump on in. As you can see, we are now in the, the visual pass through mode of the Meta Quest 3. Now I can already tell you the pass through is probably going to be nowhere as good as it is on the Apple Vision Pro. But there's a uh, all four color pass through as you can see. I'm down here in the home theater just to give you an idea what everything is looking like. That's my camera right there recording. You can see I have my dock here. Let's go ahead and bring up a browser window. All right, so let's go ahead and play this video just to give you an idea what that will look like. I'm gonna go ahead and play this YouTube video. Put it in full screen. And as you can see, it brought up a large window right in the middle of the space. And just like the Apple Vision Pro, I can get up, move around, and that that video will stay locked in place. Now, right now I'm in a the pass-through mode, so I can still see my environment. But if I wanted to go into a fully immersive experience, I can just hit this. I'll have to create my new boundary. As you can see, it's auto mapping my room out. Confirm. And now it has me in this virtual environment. Now, what's really cool about the Meta Quest 3 and the Meta Quest 2 as well is I can invite people to the space. So I don't have to experience these things alone. I can actually invite other people who have the headset to experience these spaces with me. So let me turn the volume down on that so it's not so loud. And as you can see, I'm playing this in 4K. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on just YouTube, but I did want to show y'all something that was really cool, which is the 3D VR YouTube app. So YouTube actually has a dedicated VR app on the MetaQuest 3. There's no such app on the Apple Vision Pro. So let's see what we can do with that. I'm going to select this video. The best time to get a Reese's? Anytime. I'd also you accept see, it all takes the me time. into this dark theater type environment, but once you play the video, these 3D videos on YouTube, and there's a lot of them, are really, really immersive. And as you can see, it just has me in this 3D space. Now, similar to what you can do on Apple Vision Pro, you can have multiple windows open. Now, I like the Apple Vision's Pro's way of doing this a little bit better because you can place your windows wherever you want. On the Meta Quest 3, you can only have, I believe there's three different windows open at any time. So let's say if I want to go to YouTube on this one, I could do that. Uh, let's go to Instagram on this one. And then on this one, we're going to go to... Let's just say we want to go to Peacock and watch, watch some movies on here. So you can multitask on this, but again, you're limited to this kind of layout. Now you can grab this and move it all around and have your three windows open to do any type of multitasking you want to do. And again, you're in this virtual environment. If I wanted to go back into the pass through mode, just hit this button here and it brings you back into my environment. Same type of thing. You can still move this around, but you're kind of limited on where you can place it. If I wanted to make this bigger, hit this button, and then you see it makes these much bigger panels, which I also think is really cool. Another thing that I wanted to show you is these stay locked in place. So wherever I move to, I could be leaving out the room. I'm going out into the man cave area but again when I come back into the space 
my panels are still locked in space in the place that I put them. Really don't have any problems walking around with this headset on. Again, this is not the highest resolution. I'm pretty sure the Apple Vision Pros is a lot clearer than this, but still have no issues walking around. I can see clear enough to be able to navigate without falling. Now, the biggest thing that I do not like about the Apple Vision Pro is a lot of the experiences you have to experience alone. Of course, you know there's not a lot of games on the Apple Vision Pro, and I don't really think that's what it was made for, but it's one of my favorite experiences that I experience in VR. So let's go and check out some of my favorite, favorite things to do in VR. Which is really cool is they have the Xbox Cloud Gaming that you can hook up your controller to, and you can play any of the Xbox games you wanna play. But I wanna get more into the native VR games and social experiences that you can do on the Meta Quest 3. So my favorite app is Big Screen. Now, as you know, I'm a home theater fan. I love to sit back and watch movies, but the experience on Big Screen takes that to a different level. Now, if you thought the home theater I have set up here was nice, this is just totally different. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play one of my videos just so I don't get a copyright strike. Welcome to the And as you can see, I have this whole man cable. home theater space. I haven't done one of these in two put years. Up movies. And I've done I some put upgrades up YouTube. to the space. I can log into my whole account. account. Do a new video. You can actually so in this video, I'm going movies, to go into a little bit more movies, detail than I usually really, do in these really videos. Cool. So sit here I have y'all and watch grab a drink, movies with grab your a snack. Now, it's going to be a little see, longer video, theater, but you can actually I think invite. I'm going to give y'all let me turn this down a little bit so you can see what you can do. To this is a four theater that you can use. Me, I'm just sitting so in my theater, but the it definitely cave, doesn't compare to the theater the that the I have in this video, space. Go Anybody who has a headset, see what we have a MetaQuest the headset, theater, can be invited to this space and, and y'all can enjoy movies now together in this, this digital movie pretty much which private theater. Favorite What's really cool about this app is I can go in pretty much just and change my environment. So this is the theater, but if I wanted something this is a little bit more intimate, I could bring it, bring you into the actual um, I'll have home theater, down in the which looks check it out. a little bit app. more like a home the theater, that pulls a personal home theater. Well, look, you can see I even have the uh, old Nintendo down there. So it's a lot of custom and it's really cool how the lights still flash up against the walls, and there's a bunch of different environments that you can pick we're gonna move on to um, some of my other itself. favorites now, are I actually have never really covered your video, um, apartment I actually had an older bar here before and I wanted to take that out and put this one in now, this and there's a ton built, of different ones to choose basic, from all of really which you can invite your friends wall, to enjoy the show bar, together actually, and one of my favorite things to do is bowl now Again, with these type of games, I can put this on me. And as you can see, I'm now in the bowling alley. There's actually real people here that you can interact with if you wanted to. Um, also, you can invite friends to play a game with you. Again, one of my favorite things to do in VR is to interact with other people. And the physics on this are really good. It has that real feel of actually Getting ready cold. for a spin. Of course, there's a, a, a large variety of games. You got your zombie shooters your sports games pool golf uh shooters fishing like there's a lot of different things supernatural which is a fitness uh app beat saber which is one of my favorite but if you want to be more laid back and do something that's not going to allow you or require you to get up and do too much moving i like these games like bowling table tennis which really gets more into aspect of VR, which I think where VR really is in a sweet spot is where you can interact and have these different interactions with p real people in these virtual spaces. And I think that's one of the things that the Apple Vision Pro is really missing. I know if y'all seen a lot of the ads where a lot of people who bought the Vision Pro are returning them already. And I think that's not because of 
the device, I'm sure the device is really well made. If you know anything about Apple, their devices are really well made. The issue is the software side of it, it's not a lot that you can do on it. And for the price of $3,500, a lot of people after that first initial awe of the quality of the product realize that there's not a lot you can do and they take it back to get their money back. I think the Apple Vision Pro will catch on once they develop some more of the software. But let's check out one of my favorite games is table tennis. Now right now I'm playing with the AI, but of course you can play with a real person. Oh man. So let's say you don't have any friends who have a VR headset and you actually want to meet some people. Well, Horizon Worlds, which is what Meta was touting as the metaverse, is where you can go into these different spaces created by players to interact and meet new people. So let's go on there and check it out and see how hard it is to meet some new friends. Okay, so now we're in Horizon Worlds. Uh, there's a ton of different uh, worlds to explore. If you want to follow me on uh, Horizon Worlds, I'm okay, Holiday underscore VR. If you want to go ahead and throw me a follow. But let's go see who we can meet, see who we can talk to, and explore a couple worlds in the metaverse. The main screen has this whole layout of the happening world, the worlds that people created. And you can also see how many people are currently in the world. Let's see something that would be interesting. The Gatsby Bar. Let's visit. This is one of the more popular worlds. This is an 18 and over space. So hopefully there's mostly adults here. What's going on, man? Joey, what's up, man? Joey. What's up, bro? What's going on, fellas? What up, man? And then, uh, Not much. A bunch of folks from the UK were on, so Joey, they, they were on, like, 5 a.m. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt y'all conversation real quick, but I'm currently um, recording a YouTube video. All right. And um, I'm just exploring the metaverse no, no, and uh, say, uh, talk, uh, talking to people, uh, uh, letting them know like still, what they can find here. I know a lot of people are jumping on the, the Apple Vision Pro, but a lot of people don't have, that doesn't have the, yeah, for one thirty-five dollars And it doesn't offer any of these experiences where you can really interact with other people. So like, what are some of y'all favorite things y'all like to do on a, I'm guessing y'all on a Quest 2, 3, or Pro? So, two. 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 I mean, it is what yeah. it is. Okay. What What's some of y'all favorite things to do on here? World hopping, really, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Beer pong. Yeah, it's, it's beer, beer pong, pong is badass. Like, yeah. I like <laughs> beer pong. But over in uh, Infinity DNA or DNA Infinity, mm -hmm. um, they got these flying things you hold on to. And you can fly around their universe. Yeah, the music notes way in the sky. That's the yes. That's a cool detail, dude. That's cool. So y'all spend most of your time on Horizons? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. It's fire. Oh, okay. So a lot of things that you can do in the Meta Quest 3, 2, or Pro. Um, I'm curious to see what was your favorite. And, of course, I didn't really even scratch the surface on some of the apps that you can explore on this uh, device. So... If you already have a MetaQuest 2, 3, or Pro, let me know what some of your favorite experiences are. And if you have an Apple Vision Pro, let me know what some of your favorite experiences are. Are you going to keep it? Are you going to return it? If you don't have either, which one are you leaning towards? I'm curious to see down in the comment section. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Meta Horizon Worlds. Maybe we'll run into each other. 
and I'll see y'all in the next video.